plaintiff, Maria Engram, says she had a one-night stand with the defendant while in an argument with her ex. Two weeks later, Amber went back to her ex, and when she found out she was pregnant, her ex raised her child as his own. Maria believes the defendant is her child's father, so she petitioned the court for a paternity test. Defendant Alan Francisco says at the time Maria conceived, Alan was running the streets and using drugs, and he never knew anything about the child until she was seven years old. Alan doesn't know what to believe, so he's eager to find out the results today. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. All right, state your name, ma'am. Maria Ingram. Sir. Alan Francisco. Okay, and we're here today to determine paternity, is that correct? correct. Yes, sir. All right, start with you. In 2009, I met Alan, as well as I met another man. Uh, the other man was in, still seeing other women, so I, I decided to call Alan up one night and um, to hang out. We had a few drinks, and um, we ended up sleeping together, having a one-night stand. Um, days went by, I didn't hear anything from Alan. That was because you were mad with the other guy? Is that what you're saying? No, he was actually talking to a few of my neighbors, you know, so he wasn't sure what he wanted at that time, mm -hmm. you know? So I had went ahead and called Alan up and hung out with him and, you know, slept with him, and then okay. I didn't hear anything else from him. Like, a week or two went by. And you didn't go back to the other guy? I did. I ended up, How after two now? weeks of not hearing from Alan, I ended up um, actually starting a relationship with the other guy. That... You weren't in one before? No. Oh, okay. No, not at all. And then... So he's not part of the paternity issue, right? The other man? No. No, not at all. Okay. Got it. All right. So I was just curious why you mentioned him then. Well, he, he was... He raised, he raised my daughter throughout oh. the years. Um, he had asked for me to get an abortion with her. And we went to the clinic and I ended up running out of there and I wanted to board her. The child in question today? Yes, correct. He raised her throughout the years. He would say it's not his child to her and then it's it's my daughter, it's not my child, it's my Oh. Daughter. You know, and I took him for a DNA test, which it was thrown out. And he said it wasn't his child? Was One minute DNA? he's, when he's angry, he says it's not his daughter. No, the DNA test. We didn't. We never got it done. He threw it out. His uh, lawyer. And, uh, he didn't look at the results. Is that what you mean? He refused to get it done. All right. And what has his uh, parenthood been like for the child who you all uh, presume? She uh, didn't meet seen. Alan until 2017. Okay. We were at a grocery store, and uh, she said, "Mommy, there's a guy staring at your butt." So I turned around and looked, and I said, "Oh man, that's him." So I waited outside of the, the store and uh, by the double doors to tell him, like, hey, listen, do you remember me? He said, no. I said, you remember, I remember which street you lived on, which car you drove, da 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 I said, we got a, a child, we might have a child together. He looked at me crazy. He said, can I meet her? I said, yeah. And um, he stopped by and he met her. And so for Amira, you know, I had to tell her when she was seven years old, like, why do the other guy keep saying that I am, um, I'm not his daughter? And I said, because there's someone else that can possibly be your, you know, your dad. Okay, and the one who has been serving his dad for all these years, he knows it's not his child because he told you to abort the child. When I first got with the other guy, uh -huh. I told him I had slept with Alan mm -hmm. like two weeks before. After you got with the other guy, yeah. you told him? Yes. Plaintiff Maria Engram had a one-night stand with the defendant years ago, and she admits she's not sure if he or another man is the father of her child. So she petitioned the court for a paternity test. Let me hear from you, sir. Well, I, I came from the from the Philippines. Um, uh, that's how I turned 18. Four months before I turned 18, I came to the United States. Uh, after I turned 18, me and my mother somehow stopped seeing eye to eye. So I went to pursue my own life. Ended up upstate New York, found my father up there. So that's where I've been residing ever since. Um, 
I hit the street. You know, I was, you know, I was the street kid. Was doing all. No, you weren't. Not doing. talking like that. I said, no. I said, Not talking uh, that soft and low. No, nah, yeah, yeah, nah, I just don't want to have to feel like I'm they yelling. Done more than, <laughs> they'd have done more than rob you, Doc. They'd have nah, lined up I on just, you. I just, I just don't want to have to, to feel like I'm you. yelling. <laughs> they'd, have, they'd have lined up and rob you one at a time. You're on the street talking nah. that low, so don't come in here talking. All right, well, let me change my, let me change my voice. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even hear what you said. And you, always, I'm, always soft I'm spoken. A I'm in a tough street. <laughs> you ain't done nothing. All right. Talking like that. All right. <laughs> but, uh, I just need to hear you more. That's all. all right. Your voice no problem. Too low. I don't need you to talk like you do on the street. Just a little higher. Well, I, I understand. That's all. No, but you know, as I was saying, like you know, I I dabbled in the street game. You know, I I did my thing a little bit here and there. You know. Uh, of course, comes with that comes comes with that partying, you know. And, uh, I did a lot of did a lot of ecstasy <laughs> during that time, and uh, no, I partied a lot. Did I mean, a lot of the child. Right, that was actually a, a funny question. While you were on the wow, getting high and going from woman to woman, that's your point. Yeah, pretty much. But you're not sure when was this first mentioned to you at the grocery store? This first time actually that time that me and her. Um, Actually, the conversation started with me and my brother asking a question like, do you think that you might have a father and a child out there that you don't know about? And I guess like, I don't know, mate. I don't know who. So we left it at that. And then a few weeks later, I run into her. She's like, hey, uh, you might be the father of my child. A few weeks after your brother asked you. Yes. She mentioned. I run into her at the store. Yeah, and how many years had it been since your brother or she had mentioned it? Ever. Um, five, um, five years now. It's, just, it's about almost five years. My point is, they just happened to mention it right around the same month. Pretty much, you like think that. your brother didn't know or hadn't heard? I, I don't know. I never asked that question. I never asked him that question. All right. Just, you know. Wondering see, see, he, that he information, asked, that lifelong question. information that was missing, all came within the same month. Right. From people close to you. Yes, sir. Thank you for what you want. Um, but in any event, what do you, um, ma'am, when did you say you first saw him at the grocery market? It was in uh, December, no, November 2017. Okay. And that was the first time? Since yes. You all had been... it, I, I never forgot the face. Okay. And what changed with regard to the belief you had with the father who has been in the household, her stepdad? Didn't you think the father was someone else at some point? It was either Alan or the other guy. The other guy is that who raised your daughter? Yes. Okay. So the man, that's who I'm referring to, the man who raised her, the man put all his money and emotions into it, and he might even be the blood father, because why did it come up and when did it come up, the question? It came up. When, Amir, when my daughter was seven years old. She said, why, when he gets mad at me, he keeps saying that I'm not his daughter, that hurts. You know, whenever he get mad at you, he goes, that's why you're not my daughter, because mm -hmm. your mom was this. How old is your daughter now? She's 12. So, okay, so what did you tell her? You've had five years to tell her why, and I why said, you suspect I that. said, honey, because there might be someone else. And she said, who? And I, and I told her, I said, well, I don't, I don't know too much, Amira. You know, at that time, I didn't. I didn't know anything about him um, until that day when I saw him in the grocery store. So she goes, one day, do you think, you know, I can see this guy? I said, if I run into him, you know, which I did. And then um, for the past four You said if you run into him. If I ever get to see him again, you know, or see him. You didn't talk about looking him up or trying I didn't know anything him? about him. I only knew oh, him by his street his name. name. No, I only knew him by his street oh, name. Oh, okay. Don't get in my face like I've done oh. something to you, ma'am. I haven't done anything no. to you. It's funny. You're gonna see how funny it is. I guess it's still gonna remain funny because he's not the father. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. We, we I mean, we, we in a relationship, so it's not, nothing's gonna... Yes, yeah, we have, we have two kids together, so we're just trying day. to figure out, you know, we're just trying to get rid of this big question mark over, over our head.
And oh, the wait. big question mark and we is. Just figured it out. Okay. The big question mark is, is who's the father of the girl? And now we know. So that the question mark is gone. So now we can move on with our life yep. better. It looks like um, we move on in a better place, right? Right. We still got two kids. Huh? Mm hmm All right. So it is what it is. I got your back. You got mine? Yeah, definitely. Right, we got this. Love you. Love you too, baby. Ready? Yep. Yeah.